Hello, students. Today, we're going to talk about time. There are different ways to tell time. First, let's start with a clock. Here's a beautiful clock. Okay, this is a clock. Here comes the numbers. 12, 3, 6, 9, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. Okay, so here's our clock. Now, first example, we're going to do like this. Now, we can say for this, it is one o'clock. It is one o'clock. One o'clock. All right? Or we can say, easy, it is one o'clock. It is one o'clock. Now, we only say o'clock when it's here. Only here. One o'clock. All right? Now, another example is, we'll still use one, it's, all right, now here we can say this three ways, easy, it is one, fifteen, it is one, fifteen, easy, or we can say it is a quarter past one. It is a quarter past one. And then the third way is similar. It is a quarter after one. Same. It is a quarter after one. Okay? Now, let's do another example. Here, we'll change the time again. And we'll use a different hour. It is. Now, you can see that it is 9.30. This is the easy one. It is 9.30. All right, it is 9.30, 30. Now, another way, it is half past nine. It is half past nine. It is 9.30, it is half past nine. It's the same. Okay, now, let's try another one. this time we have all right now for this one we have it is 11 45 it is 11 45 11 45 or we can say it is a quarter to 12. It is a quarter to 12. It is a quarter to 12. Okay? Two. Another example. We're going to see all sorts of times here. All right. We have, let's get the right color, it is 10. All right, now, it is, this one's kind of easy, it is 10, 10. It is 10, 10. All right, it is 10, 10. Or, we can say, it is 10 past 10. It is 10 past 10, all right? It is 10 past 10, or it is 10 
after 10. It is 10 after 10. All right? It is 10, 10. It is 10 past 10. It is 10 after 10. Now, here's another one. It is... All right, now, it is four, four, this is the easy one, four, thirty-five. It is four, thirty-five. It's four, thirty-five. Now, this one, we're going this way, it is twenty-five, twenty-five. Two five. It is twenty five two five. All right. It is four thirty five. It is twenty five to five. Okay. Okay. Here's another one. This one's kind of easy. And we have there. Okay, now remember, o'clock is here, only here. So it is 12 o'clock. It is 12 o'clock, all right? It is 12 o'clock. It is 12 o'clock. Or it is noon. In the daytime, it is noon to eat lunch. It is noon. And, or at night, it is midnight. Nighttime, of course. All right? It is midnight. Time to sleep. All right? So it's 12 o'clock. It is 12 o'clock. It is noon, it is midnight. Time words. Pop time. All right. Now, we have a new question about time. What time is it? What time is it? It is... <laughs> what time is it? It is... <laughs> So now we're going to practice with our assistants, and we'll start with Ali. So Ali, what time is it? I want you to say the time all the ways that you can. It's midnight. Okay. It's noon. It's 12 o'clock. Okay. It is midnight. It is noon. It is 12 o'clock. Okay. Good job. Now, Isabel. It is. Ten to five. All right. And another one? It's four fifty. Okay. It is ten to five. It is four fifty. Good. Now, Lisa, you do it. It is five to three. Okay. It is two fifty five. Yes. Okay. It is five to three. It is 2.55. All right. Now, Isabel, for you. It is 4 o'clock. Yes, that's good. It is 4 o'clock. Great. Now, Lisa, for you. It is 5 past 5. Mm -hmm. It is 5.05. .05. Yes, good. Okay. It is 5 past 5. It is 5.05. .05. All right, Ali, for you? It is 12.25. Mm -hmm. It is 25 after 12. Yes, it is 12.25, easy one. It is 25 after 12. Okay, Lisa, back to you. It is 5 past 12. Mm -hmm. It is 12.05. All right. It is 5 past 12. 
It is 12.05. Lisa, is it midnight? Yes, it is midnight. Okay. All right, Isabel, the next one for you. It is mm, 3 o'clock. Yes, it's 3 o'clock. All right, good. Now, Ali, for you. It is 10 to 2. It is 1.50. Yes, it is 10 to 2. It is 1.50. Okay, Lisa. It's uh, 5 o'clock. Yes, it is 5 o'clock. Time to go home. <laughs> no. Okay, and Isabel. It's 22, 4. Yes. And it's 3.40. Uh-huh. It is 20 to 4. It is 3.40. All right. Thank you, everyone. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. It's 3 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock. It's 3.15. It's 3.15. It's a quarter past 3. It's 3.30. It's half past 3. It's 10 to 4. It's 3.50. Read and repeat. Another new question about time. What time do you go to work? What time do you go to work? For example, I go to work at 9 a.m. What time do you go to work? I go to work at 9 a.m. So notice that we use at for the time, at plus time. OK, this is very important. Now, first, we're going to learn some vocabulary so that we can make more questions. So let me write these on the board, and you will see them on the monitor. OK, first. Get up. Get up. OK? Another one. Go to bed. Go to bed. Next. Go to the cinema. Go to the cinema. Another one. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Then eat lunch. Eat lunch. Then eat dinner. Eat dinner. Another one, start work. Start work. And finish work. Finish work. OK, so we have get up, go to bed, go to the cinema, 
eat breakfast, eat lunch, eat dinner, start work, and finish work. Okay? Now, we're going to make some questions with these words. All right. Now, Lisa, what time do you get up? I get up at 7 o'clock. All right. And Ali, what time do you go to bed? I go to bed at midnight. All right. Lisa, what time does Ali go to bed? He goes to bed at midnight. Yes, that's right. Lisa, what time do you go to the cinema? I go to the cinema at 7 o'clock. Isabel, what time does Lisa go to the cinema? She goes to the cinema at 7. Yes. Isabel, what time do you eat breakfast? I eat breakfast at 8.30. Mm -hmm. Ali, what time does Isabel eat breakfast? She eats breakfast at 8.30. All right. Isabel, what time do we start class? We start class at 9. All right. And Lisa, what time do you finish your class? We finish our class at noon. Yes, very good. All right. Now, again, it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. I eat lunch at 1 o'clock. She goes to bed at midnight. We eat breakfast at 8.30. They go to the cinema at 7.15. He goes to work at 7.30. Read and repeat. information about time. So here's some more vocabulary. First, in the morning. In the morning. Next, we have in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Then we have in the evening, in the evening, and this one is special, at night, at night, okay, so we have in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, but at night, so be careful. All right, now let's look at some examples using this vocabulary. We start class at 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay? We start class at 9 o'clock in the morning. All right? Okay, another example. You study in the afternoon. You study in the afternoon. Okay? Another one. They go to the cinema in the evening. They go to the cinema in the evening. And one more. He goes 
to bed at 11 o'clock at night. Okay? He goes to bed at 11 o'clock at night. Okay? Now, let's practice. So, Lisa, when do you get up? I get up at 7.30 in the morning. All right. And when do you eat breakfast? I eat breakfast at 8.30. All right. Isabel, when do you come to school? I come to school at 8 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Ali, when do you go home? I go home at 5 in the evening. All right. When do you eat dinner? I eat dinner at 7 in the evening. Ali, ask Isabel a question. Isabel, what time do you eat lunch? I eat lunch at noon. All right. Isabel, ask Lisa. Lisa, when do you start work? I start work at 7 o'clock in the evening. Oh, wow. Lisa, Lisa, ask me. Teacher, when do you go to bed? I go to bed at midnight. All right. Good job. Now, let's look and listen. Look and listen. When do you eat breakfast? I eat breakfast at 8 o'clock in the morning. When does Ali eat breakfast? He eats breakfast at 7.30 in the morning. When does Lisa eat lunch? She eats lunch at noon. When do you go to the cinema? We go to the cinema at 8 o'clock in the evening. When do they go to bed? They go to bed at 11 o'clock at night. Read and repeat. we can use these words. First, we can say, I get up at 7 every morning. I get up at 7 every morning. Again, she goes to bed at 11.30 every night. She goes to bed at 11.30 every night. He watches the clock 
every hour. He watches the clock every hour. He gets up early. He gets up early. He gets up at 5 a.m. He gets up early. He gets up at 5 a.m. They go to bed late. They go to bed at 2 a.m. They go to bed late. They go to bed at 2 a.m. And we can say, we are early. We are early or we are late. We are late. So again, I get up at 7 o'clock every morning. She goes to bed at 11.30 every night. He watches the clock every hour. He gets up early. He gets up at 5 a.m. They go to bed late. They go to bed at 2 a.m. We are early. We are late. Okay, now, of course, it's time to practice. So I'm going to ask you some questions, and let's start with Ali. Ali, do you get up early in the morning? Yes, I get up at 6.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm, okay, that's a little early. Lisa, do you go to bed late in the evening? No, I go to bed at 11 o'clock. It's normal. Okay, yes it is. Isabel, what time do you eat breakfast? I eat breakfast at 8.30. Is it early? No, it's normal. All right. Now, I want you to ask the questions. Ali, you ask Isabel. Do you go to bed late? No, I don't. I go to bed at 10.30. Oh, that's early. Yes, a little. Isabel, you ask Lisa. Lisa, do you work late? Yes, I do. What time do you work? I start work at 7 o'clock in the evening. I finish work at 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh, wow. Okay, Lisa, ask Ali. Ali, do you go to a football game every night? No, I don't. Oh, too bad. All right, thank you very much. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. He usually starts work at 9 o'clock. He is here at 8 o'clock. He's early. We usually finish work at half past 5. We are here at half past 6. We are late. Lisa and Isabel don't go to the cinema every evening. Read and repeat. question. It is when. When. For example, when did
Do you go to bed? When do you go to bed? It's the same meaning here as what time do you go to bed? When do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? It's the same meaning. Okay, now, this time I want you to ask me the questions. So, Lisa. Teacher, when do you eat breakfast? I eat breakfast at 7.30 in the morning. All right, Isabel. When do you eat lunch? I usually eat lunch at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Ali? When do you usually eat dinner? I usually eat dinner at 7 o'clock in the evening. Isabel? When do you start work? I start work at half past 8 in the morning. Ali? When do you finish work? I never finish work. No, I finish work at 5 o'clock in the evening. Okay, Lisa, the last question. When do you go to the cinema? I rarely go to the cinema. All right, thank you very much. Now, let's look and listen. Look and listen. When do you eat lunch? I eat lunch at noon. When does Ali usually eat dinner? He usually eats dinner at 6 o'clock in the evening. What time does Lisa start work? She starts work at 7 o'clock in the evening. Read and repeat. Final review here. Ali, what time is it? It's a quarter to twelve. Ah, okay. And Ali, what time do we finish class? We finish at noon. Ah, okay. Lisa, when do you usually start work? I usually start work at seven o'clock. And what time do you usually finish work? I usually finish work at 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. Isabel, do you eat breakfast every morning? Yes, I do. What time do you usually eat breakfast? I always eat breakfast at 8.30. Ah, okay. All right, thank you very much. Now it's time to listen and write. Listen. And write. Listen and write these words. Number one, evening. Number two, breakfast. Number three, o'clock. Number four, early. Number five, late. Now, check your work. Number one, evening. Number two, breakfast. Number three, o'clock. Number four, early. Number five, late. Now, listen and write these sentences. I'll say each sentence two times. Number one. Lisa 
usually eats breakfast at half past eight in the morning. Lisa usually eats breakfast at half past eight in the morning. Number two. Ali sometimes eats lunch at one o'clock in the afternoon. Ali sometimes eats lunch at one o'clock in the afternoon. Number three. Isabel never goes to the cinema in the morning. Isabel never goes to the cinema in the morning. Number four. The teacher often starts work early. The teacher often starts work early. Number five. The singer usually works late. The singer usually works late. Now, check your work. Number one. Lisa usually eats breakfast at half past eight in the morning. Number two. Ali sometimes eats lunch at one o'clock in the afternoon. Number three, Isabel never goes to the cinema in the morning. Number four, the teacher often starts work early. Number five, the singer usually works late. Now, read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. Luke is Molly's son. He gets up every morning at half past six. He doesn't eat breakfast. He usually starts work at eight o'clock in the morning. Sometimes he eats lunch at noon. Sometimes he eats lunch at one o'clock in the afternoon. He finishes work at 5.30. He often eats dinner at Burger King or McDonald's. He likes hamburgers. In the evening, he watches television and he goes to bed at 11 o'clock. Now, listen to the questions and answer them. I will say the questions two times. Number one. Whose son is Luke? Whose son is Luke? Number two. What time does he get up? What time does he get up? Number three, does he eat breakfast? Does he eat breakfast? Number four, when does he start work? When does he start work? Number five, when does he eat lunch? When does he eat lunch? Number six, what time does he finish work? What time does he finish work? Number seven, where does he eat dinner? Where does he eat dinner? Number eight, does he like hamburgers? Does he like hamburgers? Number nine. When does he watch television? 
When does he watch television? Number 10. What time does he go to bed? What time does he go to bed? Now, check your work. Number one. Whose son is Luke? Luke is Molly's son. Number two. What time does he get up? He gets up at half past six. Number three, does he eat breakfast? No, he doesn't. Number four, when does he start work? He starts work at eight o'clock in the morning. Number five, when does he eat lunch? Sometimes he eats lunch at noon. Sometimes he eats lunch at one o'clock. Number six. What time does he finish work? He finishes work at 5.30. Number seven. Where does he eat dinner? He eats dinner at Burger King or McDonald's. Number eight. Does he like hamburgers? Yes, he does. Number nine. When does he watch television? He watches television in the evening. Number ten. What time does he go to bed? He goes to bed at 11 o'clock. Very good. We'll see you next time. Practicing English. Great! I have classes for beginners. I got classes for intermediates. What days do you have your classes? I have classes on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. What about you? I have classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Are uh, your classes in the morning or the afternoon? My classes are in the morning. Uh, mine are in the afternoon. Hmm. What time do your classes start? They start at 9 o'clock on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I start at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and I finish at 6. What time do you have lunch each day? I have lunch at noon before my classes start. What time is yours? We can still eat together because I have lunch at noon too. Oh, that's great for me because I like eating lunch in the middle of the day at noon. The afternoon doesn't seem so long that way. My family always eats dinner every night at 6 o'clock, so I know I'll be hungry again. Hey, there's Jack. Let's see if he knows the schedule yet. Hi, Jack. Hey, Jack. Hi, Angie. Hi, Sam. How are your schedules today? Well, we both have found out which classes we are teaching. We both have lunch at noon. Hmm. L let me check my classes. Here it is. Lunch. Yes. I will eat at noon, too. That's great. Now we can all eat together. Great. Let's go. Oh, I saw Alexi this morning and he was looking very bad. What was wrong with him? He was up past midnight last night. What was he doing up so late? He was working on the computer till late. Uh-huh. Alexi always works late at night. Jack, do you take work home? Sometimes, but I never finish my work late. Me neither. I finish everything on time. What did you do last night, Angie? I read my book about France. And you? My favorite TV show was on television. So you were able to watch your favorite show and get a good night's sleep? Because you finished all your work earlier during the day.
You didn't have to stay up all night like Alexei. Yes, I hate having to work all night. The morning is very hard for me when I don't get any sleep. I know what you mean. Not only are the mornings hard, but by the afternoon, all I want to do is sleep. Hey guys, here comes Alexei now. Look, he does look terrible. His eyes are all red and looks like he's been sleeping in those clothes. Hi everyone. What are you talking about? Is that you, Alexei? Yes. What do you mean? It looks like you didn't get much sleep last night. Uh, I was up till 3 a.m. I get up at 7 for work, so it was a very short night. Alexei, we all have lunch at noon. What time do you have your lunch? Well, my lunch break is at noon, too. Great. We can all eat together again. What time is it now? I'm starving. Did you eat this morning? No. I didn't have time. My alarm goes off at 7, but that doesn't mean I always get up. What time did you get up this morning? It was almost 8 o'clock. But Alexei, your work starts at 8.30. I know. I didn't have breakfast this morning, and now you know why I look like I don't have fresh clothes on. These are the same clothes I wore last night. Alexei, here it is morning, and it looks like you should go home, take a shower, and start the day all over. I know. So what time is it? I have bad news, Alexei. It is only 10.30, and lunch is still an hour and a half mm. away. Oh, no. It's going to be a long day. Mm.